Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be learning how to use the inverse substitution method to calculate an integral. Using this method, we will be calculating the integral of 1 over square root of 4 minus x squared. Let us first look at the theory behind inverse substitution. According to the inverse substitution method, we can rewrite the integral of h of x as the integral of h of g of u times g prime of u by replacing x with g of u. Okay, so when do we use inverse substitution? Usually, when you see something in the form square root of 1 minus x squared or square root of 1 plus x squared appear in the integral formula you want to integrate, that's a pretty good sign you need to use inverse substitution. So, for example, 1 divided by square root of x squared minus 16 is a pretty good candidate for this rule, as is 1 divided by square root of x squared plus 25. So, what inverse substitution function should we use? Some commonly used ones are the sine, cosine, and tangent functions, because they are nice to derive and integrate. Let's take a look at an example. We want to integrate the function in the title above. So 1 divided by square root of 4 minus x squared. The first step is to choose the appropriate substitution function. Earlier we saw some examples, but which one to pick? Let's have a look at two trigonometric identities to decide. So we have cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x and second squared x is equal to tan squared x plus 1. We see that the denominator in our integral square root of 4 minus x squared is most similar to the first trigonometric identity. Cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Hence, an appropriate trigonometric substitution in this case is g of u is equal to 2 times sine of u. Good. We'll get to why there's a 2 in front of the sine in a sec. Looking at our formula, we also need to find out g prime of u and rewrite dx in terms of du to apply our formula. g prime of u is the derivative of g of u. And that is the derivative of 2 sine of u, giving us 2 cosine of u. dx is the derivative of x with respect to u times du. This gives us g prime of u times du. We know that g prime of u is equal to 2 cosine of u. And hence we have dx is equal to 2 times cosine of u du. The next step is to start with the formula we saw at the beginning. This is our integral of h of x dx. It's equal to the integral of h of g of u times g prime of u du. We know that in our case, h of x is equal to 1 over square root of 4 minus x squared. We also know that g of u is 2 times sine of u, giving us 1 divided by square root of 4 minus 2 times sine of u squared. Finally, we're still missing g prime of u, but we know it's 2 times cosine of u, so let's just put it here. Just for brevity, we can move it up onto the fraction, since there's just a 1 up there. Finally, we can take out the factor of 4 from the brackets and the square root of the denominator. So far, so good. Now we need to simplify the equation a bit. The good thing is that we can move the square root of 4 out of the big root, resulting in 2. Now the other part that we are left with in the denominator is the square root of 1 minus sine squared of u. That part might look familiar to you. It's actually equal to cosine squared of u, and the square of cosine squared just cancels out with the root. So now we've got 2 times cosine of u divided by 2 times cosine of u. Nice. Now we can start integrating. The integral of 1 with respect to u is u plus c, where c is the integral constant since we are calculating an indefinite integral. We're not quite there yet though. We have the integral with respect to u as indicated by the u at the end, but we're interested in finding the integral with respect to x. But what is u? Well, remember that we said earlier x is equal to 2 times sine of u. Just move it around a bit and you get u is equal to sine inverse of x divided by 2. Now insert that into u and we get our final answer. 
with the integral of 1 over 4 minus x squared equal to sine inverse x divided by 2 plus c. Wow, that was a lot. Let's recap. We wanted to calculate the integral of 1 divided by square root of 4 minus x squared dx. We found a substitution function. x is equal to g of u is equal to 2 times sine of u. We calculated g prime of u to be equal to 2 times cosine of u. And we rewrote the x in terms of du. We found that it is equal to 2 times cosine of u du. We took our formula from the beginning and inserted all the variables inside of it. We integrated and substituted the value of u, giving our final answer, that is, the integral of 1 over square root of 4 minus x squared equal to sine inverse of x divided by 2 plus c, where c is the integral constant. Do you want to try the inverse substitution method yourself? Try calculating this integral. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.